Greetings everyone, my name is Dom and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a uh, top, uh, let's say top 5 uh, games in the Steam sale. So, um, there's nothing really much to do other than kick it off, I probably would like give you guys a better intro if this was scripted, but again, another unscripted video. But let's get into it. Okay, so first up, the number 5 best uh, Steam game, let's have a look here. Actually no, in no particular order. Elite Dangerous was 30 quid and now it is £9. So again, US prices are, I don't know what they are, but I'm guessing the same deals on in the US and so if, well Elite Dangerous is a really cool looking game so I'd just buy it because awesome, why not, yay. Um, next game is The Witcher 3, however there is also, for 2 quid more, uh, The Witcher Trilogy so you get all 3 games. So I'd go for that if I were you, and that's 27 quid, so that's not bad, that's really not bad. Um, what else have we got? Um, let's get sort of the Phantom Pain. Yeah, it's not that great. Fallout 4 is out of the sale now. Um, hmm. Shadow of Mordor, that's a brilliant game. Um, you can get the Game of the Year edition for a tenner, I think. So that's on. Rust! Rust is another brilliant game in the sale. Um, I don't think Rust has ever actually been on sale before, but it is now, so I would definitely recommend you guys pick that up. Um, Armor 3. Armor 3 is also in the sale for 18 quid. You pick this game up and you will not regret it. I currently have like, how many hours do I have in this game? Hold on, let me check. Armor 3, 99 hours in this game and I don't even play it as much as I should play it. So yeah, it's a bloody awesome game and I definitely recommend it to absolutely everyone. Let's just do some more scrolling. Wreckfest is quite good. If you haven't gotten Gary's mod yet then I definitely recommend you do because it's 75% off costing only a quid. So that is really good. Um, H1Z1 is a pretty good deal, so 9 quid right now. Um, I'm just sort of telling you. <laughs> you can just see as soon as you load up Steam. Um, Warhammer End Times. This game looks awesome. I haven't actually played it, but from what I've seen, it looks brilliant. As is Clean Floor 2. That's only 13 quid. Both of those games I recommend. You know, this was going to be like a top 5, but I guess it sort of just turned into a... Uh, Alright, casually talk to you guys as I um, browse the Steam sales. The Wolf Among Us. Now, I've seen a walkthrough of this game and it was incredible. So, that's only a fiver. I definitely picked that up because it was like 18 quid, 19 quid. Um, Mirror's Edge, oh my god, what a fantastic game. Absolutely amazing this game. Uh, in terms of content, it really isn't lacking all that much. But the, the gameplay, the gameplay is uh, it's just so brilliant. The fact that you can free roam around a city and do all of these complex moves, it's just invigorating. It is stimulating. Uh, Sniper Elite V3. Oh, what a brilliant game. What a brilliant game. For some, that is. I don't know. Um, I haven't played it much. However, it is actually pretty fun. From what I've played. Project Cars. Um, if you're into racing, I guess you get. Oh my god. Mountain Blade Warband. Get that game. You have to get Mountain Blade Warband. It's so bloody good. I mean, the graphics are pretty shit, but just install some graphics mods and you're fine. Um, Just Cause 2. With the release of Just Cause 3 in a few days, you know, why not try Just Cause 2 out? You can get get to grips with Rico and get a bit more hype built up, and it's only 2 quid right now, so, you know, why not? Just go ahead and pick up Just Cause 2. Um, Black Ops 2 is way too expensive. Like, who the hell would pay 15 quid for that? For a game that's like 2 years old, 3 years old? Something like that. Um, Massive, ooh, <coughs> yum, Mass Effect 2, this is a brilliant game, that's only a fiver, um, LA Noir. oh, LA Noir is a pretty long game, but it, oh by 
god is it worth it. The style of the game is just insane and the, the lip sync, the way they captured the faces is incredibly realistic. It's, it's weird that you can like see such detail in a game. But the story is absolutely brilliant. You follow a guy called Cole Phelps, which is a, uh, which is a detective in LA, and it's just like him and his rise up in the ranks and the cases that he does. And then in the end, it's like all oh, it's all connected, and ah, oh, it's just such an amazing game. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy this on Steam. I would just get that on. Um, I get that on G2A, but Paint the Town Red, oh, I've, I've tried this game out, it's, this game's brilliant, it's so fun. There isn't much content in it, but it is It is a really fun game. Dead Space 2 as well, that's only 2 quid, so, you know, why not? Super Meat Boy, that's always a favourite. Spicy Meat. Oblivion's only a fiver, so that's not too bad. Um, I want to wait a few days for it to uh, go down more, if it will. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, that was a brilliant game, although I buy that on g 2 Hitman Absolution, another really good game. Uh, I suppose that, that's about it, as I am bred here, 66% off, but that's all the games I'm going to recommend today. So, uh, oh, I just woke it up. Oh, they have Sydney's Pirates. <laughs> I remember that game. I've just woken up. And so this is sort of just like a chill sesh while I discuss some Steam deals. Um, but, yeah. But anyway, guys, if you did <laughs> enjoy this video, then do show your appreciation by tapping the like button. If you also like my raspy voice, then do, again, subs subscribe and bloody... I don't know, like the video. Hey, how are you doing, guys? It's 9 in the morning. I didn't want to get up, but I got up. Ha! Ah. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye.